John 15 and 1. I am the true wine, and my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. That's how you make clean by this word. Keep going. Abide that's, in me. That's what it's called being baptized. You get baptized, you get cleaned up in the water. But the real water is the living water, which is the word. Keep going. Just like he said, the Lord said he's the true vine. You know what I'm saying? And so, and we're part of that. We're part of that vine. We're the branches. He said, I'm the vine, ye are the branches. Keep going. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine, no more can ye accept ye abide in me. I am the vine. Yo, Gotti. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. So, yeah, so the Lord said, if you don't abide in him, abide in his truth, you're like a withered branch. Keep going. And men gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burnt. So, yeah, so, so if, you, if you ain't believing in the Lord, you ain't doing the work of the Lord, you're just going to get burned up. The Lord's going to burn you up. He's going to burn you to a crisp. And really, that's what's going to happen to America. America's going to be turned into a giant pile of ashes. Okay, that's what's going down. Hey, read that part again. John 15 and 6. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. And men gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burnt. So yeah, so, now hold on. Hold on. how the prophets were coming out with their message. Plus what the message was actually saying, you know. Because the scripture says to hate this world. I got, say embrace it and love it, you know. I got a scripture to back you up. Yeah. What's, what's the message? The message? Well, I, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Yep. You know? That's the main message. The, the, the kingdom of heaven spiritually right now is being built. Instead of physically. Physical, the, the physical part of the kingdom it's coming soon. Yeah. But spiritually, it's being built. That's why you see America, and not just America, you see the world is at chaos, in chaos. You know? It's yeah. at an uproar, you know? That's yeah. because of this truth is being pushed out there now. Yeah. Because when you go to the book of Daniel, the 12th chapter, it tells you that knowledge is going to be increased in these last days. Let me, let me show you something. Now, knowledge is the reason why all this madness is going on. This is exactly what the Lord wants. The Lord loves drama. You know, you know, like you women, like drama. You know, you go turn on the TV show, you don't turn on the action but you look for the drama. Yeah. <laughs> hey, the scriptures say the Lord is a man of war. Hey, check this out. While you get getting that, I'm going to back you up on something you were saying earlier. You say we're not supposed to love the world. This is 1 John 2 and 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. That's right, and like these, for example, love of the world, like these universities. You know, love the like it's teaching you something anyway. It ain't teaching you nothing but how to be a slave. Yeah, well, most people just aren't spiritual. You don't see too many spiritual people. Most people all they care about is getting money. You know, they don't really think about the spiritual aspects of life. Yeah. Everything that's going on is spiritual, but you can see it that way. Yeah. Here you go. This is, uh, this is Daniel 12 and uh, 4. But thou, O Daniel, Shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. And many run to and fro. And so you have people driving in cars. We could hop on a plane and go to California tonight. Or you go to the other side of the world. Literally. Literally, yeah. We have 
uh, all nations have come to America. You have Indians, Chinese people, you know? That's what it's talking about. So, what is, why does it say the government is terrorist? They are terrorists. Oh. <laughs> so I mean, like it's it's bearing witness for itself. Let me ask you a question. Did you see the last shooting that went down, the LAX shooter? Yeah. Did you see what the shooter's last name was? No. His last name was uh, Ciancia, but it's spelled, his name is spelled C-I-A in CIA. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just a big joke. Everything that's going on is set up. Yeah. Because they have an agenda, a hidden agenda that you don't see. Yeah. You know? And I think God also like works and he like puts people in authority and like words out of like I get that joke. Like God like God wants us to like respect our leaders and nah, I think we need to like support our government. You know what I'm saying? What of what oh you're right because overall of everything. Yeah. So, I think by calling our government terrorists, it's just kind of like not very kind. Well, look, check it out. If you got, if you got, uh, what do you call it, uh, embassies? How many nations does the uh, U.S. has embassies? Over country. a thousand. Okay. okay. What's the purpose of them having them embassies in these nations? They're trying to force the will of the U.S. government on these people. If you don't give us your resources, we're going to bomb you. So what is that? That's a terrorist. That's a terrorist. Why do you think those uh, Arabs, they strap bombs on themselves? They're not great. They're cr they got the spirit of a madman on them. Yeah. But they're not stupid. Well, that's the CIA. They don't, they don't just... No, they I don't, I'm, I'm going to go kill them. I'm going to go kill somebody. Did you see a... Uh, no like, one thinks like yeah, that. Yeah, I know what you're trying to explain, but I was just saying, like, I think it's not like... I don't think you're, like, exhibiting surprise when you're telling people that. That's true, though. Look. Do you know that Barack Obama is a... a we in the Bible. Where's the Bible? Okay, but where's the Bible? Where though? Okay, I mean, but, but, God, the Lord is, he's balanced. He's yeah. not just love. What, I mean, what king, when you look at any of these movies, they're talking about kings and what kind of people are they? They're rough people, right? They're, 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 yeah, they're, they're uh, uh, right, right. They now we're talking about the most yeah. high himself. Okay. He's all, he's all power. He created good aid. What kind of person do you think he is then? He's balanced, yeah. good and evil. And Exodus, so Exodus, I, Exodus. I, 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 I just really love I, I, I don't I don't know. Know. Now here I got, yeah. let me uh, prove, uh, bring out a point. You know Barack Obama is, uh, is, is in the open, it's on the news. You can watch C-SPAN, you can watch CNN, Fox. <laughs> Any clip you want to watch, you can bring it up. Barack Obama is openly supplying Al-Qaeda rebels in Syria with weapons. Oh, he, he's open there. They talk about in Congress, and they're saying, should we really give weapons to Al Qaeda? And they're like, yeah, we have to. We're so, talking about the U.S. Yeah. yeah. Not, Senator they're, John they're McCain. Terrorists. John McCain was hanging out with terrorists. It, it's a terrorist that ate somebody's heart. It's a video. Did you see that? It's the video. He was eating somebody's heart, and John McCain was hanging out with the same so guy. Shaking hands. Eating a human making heart. promises. We're going I'm bringing these weapons for you. So the, the government's controlled by gangsters. Okay. 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 But look, there you go. I think the world is very imperfect, and like there's, that's, if that's, we just spent all of our time pointing out or well, we have instead, to. Of, instead of thanking, like for them devoting time okay, to try to help if, us. Okay, if someone's in your house, I think we're very in, blessed to live so, in the United States, where we can talk about our faith. There's a lot of countries. Let me ask you a question. Now, if your house is on fire, if your house is on fire, if your house is burning up, it's on fire. You're sitting there watching TV. Are you going to get up and put your the fire out, or are you just going to let your whole house burn down and die? I mean, that's, that's, yeah, you're not gonna let it spread, are you? Right, here you go. Exodus 15 and 3. We're talking about the Lord still, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Exodus 15 and 3. Battery. The Lord Already? is a man of war. Be hard to get the Lord is his name. Yeah. The what you saying, Ma? He's love. The gospel. The Lord. Is the division. Lord. Huh? The, Lord, the gospel itself brings division because people are against it. But God is not trying to tear people down. He's trying to well, let me get bring that too. love What's to that? Luke, uh, I got, I got, uh, for them to come well, to He's 14, definitely Luke trying 14. to tear people down. Luke 14. <laughs> I got scripture. Uh, See, what you've been taught about the truth, you're, you've been brainwashed in falsehood. But God does not, he desires for all people to come to him. He's no, not, no, no, See, that's not people. true either. Yeah, it is. No, he doesn't want all people. What, okay. What's so special about the kingdom of heaven if all people is coming and going to be... He said, he, he said many are called, 
Many are called, but few are chosen. You ever heard that scripture? I have heard that. He said, what does that mean? If only a few are chosen, what, what happens because to the rest of them? people are evil and they, right, right. they turn against him. God is not turning against them. People are turning against well, him. Well, actually, the Lord turned against him. No, well, he put the it people in. have he, freedom and they turn because they're Well, people. there's no free will, actually. The Lord okay. put it in their hearts to be that way, actually. No, he Oh, here. You want that joke? Don't go over. I will prove to you with the Bible. You just sit here kicking. You ain't threatened by you. You ain't going to smack you, man. All we do is give you the Bible, by the way. I'm not. I'm, 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 I'm it, it, it does say to debate the gospel, right? Yeah, yeah. and I've been very... Yeah, so you got to be, be open-minded. You got to be open-minded. Listen to this. This is uh, John, John 6 and 64. But, they are, but there are some of you that believe not. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believed not and who should betray him. So he That's already knew before the earth was even created because who was he's chosen. Because outside of time. Like, we only think in terms of, like, a narrow timeline. But, but see, God, you, you he knows things. he's the alpha and omega. He already right, knows but you, you make That's it more difficult say, for though. yourself. But you, no, I'm not. Because it, it, it helps me to love people. Just, 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 but now you agree with yourself. And he, and he said, therefore, therefore, he said, I am to you that no man come unto me except it were given unto him of my father. Yep, so your father is only dealing with a few people. Yeah. No. I just want, I really think that the reason that I think it helps know that God wants all people is that because it gives us a heart of God and we change after every person because we know that every person needs Jesus. It's not just for a few people. Every person. Every person needs Jesus. And so I think that's what I just really would love for you guys to really Kind of understand. It's, it's, I like Jesus a lot. Well, you're like kind of right in a way because the world does need the Lord. In it. Yeah. And the Lord, Lord is, yeah. the world is obviously without the Lord. But yeah. here you go, right here. This is Job uh, 33 and uh, 14. For the Most High speaketh once, yea, twice. Yet man perceiveth it not in a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in slumbering upon the bed. Yeah, so the Lord, he, 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 even the wicked, he's in control of the wicked. The Lord created the good and the evil. So really, none of us have free will. We don't, there is not a choice. Like you have no- create good and evil. Everything we created is good. Who created good and evil? God created good and people- Here we go. Even Isaiah 45 and 7. Here you go. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. It's the Lord that said this. Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. Light and dark. I make peace and peace create evil. And evil. I, the yeah. Lord, do all these things. The Lord do all these yeah. things. That now, is that self-explanatory? Yeah, that makes sense. He's a creator. But you say the Lord only makes love, though. He I told you, didn't I tell you that everything yeah. you've been taught already is complete bullshit? You got to throw it all you gotta, away. You got to learn to, you got to humble yourself and open your mind. Okay. Yep. You know, everything you, you don't be too proud to, 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 uh, to admit, huh? You got yelling. By your, are you humbling yourself by yelling at people on the Who's yelling at you? are yelling at me. That's how you see me talking to you. He's, he's, a, he's a grown <laughs> man. He's <laughs> talking yeah. with a deep voice. Are you serious? Yeah. And I think a, you know what a man is? You ever been around a man? I'm married. He's not a hard man, is he? He's not a tough guy, is he? You, of course, you can say that. Yes, of course, that's soft cool. hands. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's cute. I just that's don't cute. think that you're like. Is he a brony? They're walking by and you just like yell stuff. Like, you're oh, supposed to. Well, yeah, I 